Good morning. Welcome to Coffee with Pastor. This is August the 31st of 2023, and I have my hot cup of coffee right here and my copy of the Word of God open to Leviticus and chapter 9. Leviticus chapter 9, and no doubt you're going to be turning there in your Bible. And as you are turning, here is the bad dad joke. What do you call someone who immigrated to Sweden? What do you call someone who immigrated to Sweden? Are you ready? An artificial Swedener. We will forget that one ever happened. Again, I am in Leviticus chapter 9, and again, good morning to you. And as we get started, I'm going to continue to ask you to pray for Florida. But since yesterday morning, Florida has been hit, Georgia has been hit, South Carolina has been hit, and now North Carolina is in the sight of the storm. And so continue to pray for those in our the southern, let's see, it would be the southeastern southeastern portion of our country and keep them in your prayers. As we get talk about our weather here, I had somebody yesterday at, at church talk about frost being on its way. And from what I was told, perhaps somewhere in Michigan, yes, in August, they have already seen frost. It is 45 degrees here. It's a little chilly, but nevertheless, it's a beautiful day. The skies are really blue, and we can praise God for that. We are in Leviticus chapter 9, and it is the 9 o'clock hour. And so we're going to go ahead, bow our heads, bow our hearts before our Heavenly Father. Let's pray together. Glorious Heavenly Father, good morning. And as we enjoy a clear day, there are others in the Carolinas and Georgia and Florida who are now just beginning to rebuild their lives. Some, the storm is bearing down on them as we speak. And Father, again, we just look to you because we know that you control the storms. Lord, we pray that if it would please you that the storm would stop, perhaps you would turn it east into the ocean. Lord, we just pray for those people. We ask for grace and mercy upon them. We pray that you would protect life, that there would be very little loss of life. Father, as you see fit, protect property. And Father, again, we just ask that you would per perform your perfect will with this storm and other storms that continue on through the hurricane season. Father, we come into your presence and we think of those people who join us each and every day. Father, we ask that you would be pleased to bless each one. Yesterday, we mentioned that each of us, all of us, have various needs. And Lord, we look to you to meet those needs as only you can. For some, it's wisdom. For others, it's encouragement. For other, others, they are in need of resources. And Father, as we come before your throne, we pray that whatever circumstance we may find ourselves in, that we would seek to glorify you, that we would seek your will, that by your grace we would be faithful. Father, we love you. We thank you for being so good to us. Father, we thank you for revealing yourself in your word and for the privilege that we have this morning to open it up and to read it together. We pray that your spirit would be our teacher, that he would guide us, 
that he would take your word and apply it to our lives. And Father, we thank you for his ministry in our lives. Father, today, bless us as we pursue your will. And may your will be done in all areas of our lives. We ask this in Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen. Leviticus, book of Leviticus and chapter 9. And it came to pass on the eighth day that Moses called Aaron and his sons and the elders of Israel. And he said unto Aaron, Take thee a young calf for a sin offering and a ram for a burnt offering without blemish and offer them before the Lord. And unto the children of Israel thou shalt speak, saying, Take ye a kid of the goats for a sin offering, and a calf, and a lamb, both of the first year, without blemish, for a burnt offering. Also a bullock and a ram for a peace offering, to sacrifice before the Lord, and a meat offering mingled with oil. For today the Lord will appear unto you. And they brought that which Moses commanded before the tabernacle of the congregation. And all the congregation drew near and stood before the Lord. And Moses said, This is the thing which the Lord commanded that ye should do, and the glory of the Lord shall appear unto you. And Moses said unto Aaron, Go unto the altar and offer thy sin offering and thy burnt offering, and make an atonement for thyself and for the people. And offer the offering of the people, and make an atonement for them, as the Lord commanded. Aaron therefore went into the altar, and slew the calf of the sin offering which was for himself. And the sons of Aaron brought the blood unto him, and he dipped his finger in the blood, and put it upon the horns of the altar, and poured out the blood at the bottom of the altar. But the fat and the kidneys and the call above the liver of the sin offering, he burnt upon the altar as the Lord commanded Moses. And the flesh and the hide he burnt with fire without the camp. And he slew the burnt offering, and Aaron's sons presented unto him the blood, which he sprinkled round about the altar. And they presented the burnt offering unto him with the pieces thereof and the head, and he burnt them upon the altar. And he did wash the inwards and the legs, and burnt them upon the burnt offering on the altar. And he brought the people's offering, and took the goat, which was the sin offering for the people, and slew it, and offered it for sin, as at the first. And he brought the burnt offering, and offered it according to the manner. And he brought the meat offering, and took a handful thereof, and burned it upon the altar, besides the burnt sacrifice of the morning. And he slew the bullock and the ram for a sacrifice of peace offerings, which was for the people. And Aaron's sons presented unto him the blood, which he sprinkled upon the altar round about. And the fat of the bullock, and of the ram, the rump, and that which covereth the inwards, and the kidneys, and the call above the liver. And they put the fat upon the breast, and he burnt the fat upon the altar. And the breast and the right shoulder Aaron waved for a wave offering before the Lord, as Moses had commanded. And Aaron lifted up his hand toward the people and blessed them, and came down from offering the sin offering, and the burnt offering, and the peace offerings. And Moses and Aaron went into the tabernacle of the congregation and came out and blessed the people. And the glory of the Lord appeared unto all the people. And there came a fire out from before the Lord and consumed upon the altar the burnt offering and the fat, which when all the people saw, they shouted and fell on their faces. And may God add his blessing to the reading of his word. 
Now, certainly I am not going to speak of a physical manifestation of the Lord to you today. But I can tell you this. If you want to see the glory of the Lord, do what he says. Obey him regardless of circumstances, regardless of anything else. Maybe you sit back and say, well, I can't do that. Well, you know what? If God wants you to do it, he will give you the ability. And in that way, perhaps we'll see the glory of the Lord and even see him, his strength in our weakness. Beloved, be faithful. Be faithful to God in all things. Whether we think we can or not, let's do what God commands. And never, never allow yourself to become someone else's excuse for turning away from the gospel. This is our job. This is why we're here. And beloved, I trust you're going to have a wonderful day as you serve God. Remember, remember, no matter what life throws at us, God loves you very, very much. And we do as well. And until tomorrow, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. And God bless you.